Say that again. The black sweatshirt, and he dragged something. They're taking bags from the trailer to the to the boat. All right, they're on. They're uh, they're taking the boat towards the barge again. About six about six bags came off. Heavy. Some of them are real light, but like two of them are real heavy. Two individuals still on the barge. I saw the boom swinging and the hose running. Whatever it would be, 34 bags or 10 bags or a whole, a whole row, you basically. I mean, it's not. It's not. Um, the racks have changed now a little bit, like I was telling you earlier. But um, the bags are in are in sequential order. Okay. Um, but at this point, so is the the bag always the starter? Like, because if you no, have no, so no, but well, there's pieces of there actually was pieces of rebar that marked also different different areas. Okay, um, but now since you know since they're been out there for what says you know two and a half months since you know that's kind of like it's kind of not relevant at this point. Like I haven't well, let me put it this way, I haven't paid attention to where things are as much anymore because everything's been out there for so long. I mean, when we go out there, you'll see there's oysters that are you know only that big out there. Yeah. That we transferred. Yeah. You know, so well, if if you're gonna move stuff from here say on the 18th exactly how did that happen did you, you put them in in the bags on the barge uh yes sometimes well okay so what we did a lot of, most of the time what we did is we hauled the cages up on here on yeah. cynthia drove cynthia out there but for the tide because it's also it's a pontoon boat okay let the tide go out boat sits right on the bottom right oh, wow. yeah fill the bags up sort them put them to the racks wait for the tide to come back up and come back in or okay. we filled them up Threw them on a skiff. I drove out there about two hours before low, and um, threw them off the skiff. Okay. And the the actual the actual bag will be marked with a red tag at that point. I mean, just the start of the row that you transplanted from here to there. The bag. Say that again. That, that row will be marked with the red tag at that point with the date that you put them there. Correct. That whole, okay, and then be, so the beginning of the row, there's only one bag that might have that red tag, but that beginning of that row will have. Will That's have correct, and then it will be then it will be marked, uh, just like there's just like it's shown here. Okay. Yeah. So okay. At, so at any time you don't need anything on the farm, you come back here and everything's right here. Yeah. Okay. That's an interesting system and. That's not a, um, your, that's your system. That's not like a HACCP regulation or anything else. That's that's something that you devise to make it easy for the guys that work for you. Correct. To understand. And myself. You know, I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't, I've had, had any employees until, you know, today, so this week. Well, that's, that's a smart way to do it. Now it's hard that the guys are working out for you, Chris, and uh, the men's kids. seems to be doing good. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the men's kids is the first day, so. Yeah. You know, I, from, from my perspective, and I'm sure, you know, the way they're going to look at it with shell, you know, with shell fisheries and water monitoring, they're going to say, well, you know, Zitter's is a good guy. He seems to square away. You know, he's got a good head on his shoulders, but he's hiring these guys that. Well, that's why you have to be like that. He doesn't know that well to, to put all the trust in the industry to possibly commingle bad water stuff with good water that's stuff. That's why. Well, wait a second. No, no, no. That's why I. Um, that's why I devised this system. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So the way you're explaining that, I thought that's There's a lot of bad. Well, when you're being.